Hello everyone, welcome back to Express Video for All. In today's video, we are going to learn a very important concept from theory of computation, the pumping lemma theorem for regular languages. We will also see how to use this theorem to prove that a given language is not regular. So let's get started. First of all, let's understand what this theorem is all about. We know that regular languages can be represented using finite automata, but sometimes we need to prove that a language is not regular. That's where the pumping lemma help us. So what's the theorem state that? Let m equals to sigma, sigma defined as a alphabet, q is the set of states, dol is the transition function and q0 is the starting state and f is the final state. Here m is the finite automata and here n is number of states. So let l be the regular language accepted by m. Let for every string x in l which means that x is a substring of l which belongs to l. So there exists a constant such that length of x should be greater than or equal to n. Now if the string x is broken down into three substrings u, v and w. So it's like written like x equal to u v w. It's satisfying the following condition. The condition are v should not be equal to epsilon which means that v is greater than or equal to 1. And second condition is u v is less than or equal to n. So let's get started. So now we will prove the language for better understanding. So what the language? Language is? 0 to the power n, 1 to the power m, such that n is smaller than m, is not regular. So we will prove this with the help of pumping lemma. So here our first step will be, here x is a substring we take from here. So n plus n plus 1. So here m is greater than n. So we take m as an n plus 1. So it will equal to 2n plus 1 which is greater than or equal to n. So directly we can say that it is greater than or equal to x. So now we will move to step 2. Here we will broken down into three substring u, v and w. So we will do like 0 to power n minus 1, 0, 1 to power n plus 1. Here we will take this as u this as v and this as w. So u equals to n minus 1, v is equals to 1 and w is equals to n plus 1. So here both the conditions satisfies. So n minus 1 plus 1 equals greater than n. So now we will move to step 3. So in this u v for i blue. here we will put the different values of i to check it is regular or not. So when we will put i equals to 0 here so so here x equals to u v for i w. So here we will put the values 0 power n minus 1 here v for i is equal to 0 so 0 power 0 and w w is nothing but 1 to the power n plus 1 so it will be equal to 0 to the power n minus 1 into 1 to the power n plus 1 which still belongs to the language given here so now we will put the value of i differently so let us put i value equals to 3 so x equals to u with power i w so here it will be 0 to power n minus 1 and 0 to power 3 and 1 to the power n plus 1. So here base the same, so power gets added. So 0 to the power it will become n plus 2 and here 1 to the power n plus 1. So here we can clearly see that the condition here comes. Number of zeros are greater than number of 1s. So it contrasts this language. So it doesn't fulfill the requirement of these languages here. 
so we can say that this is not a regular language so here like this we will prove using pumping lemma theorem so thank you for watching our video please subscribe express video for all